Oh my god, David Harry, not another video with your little freaky box. Yes, YouTube, David Harry here, and once again, another video with my freaky little box. Anyways, what it is, in this video, I'm going to show you this Intel Nook editing 8K video. Yes, you heard me right. Not playing and stuff or encoding, but editing 8k video now this video will not be overly technical i'm making a point of trying to keep these videos as short as i can so what i'm going to do is just gloss over some stuff but show you the important thing happening where this is editing 8k video now i do do other videos on another channel that i'm building up and there will be links in the description to that other channel and they are very specifically kind of like you know tutorial type things for edius which is the nle that i use so if you're more interested in a more kind of long-winded more descriptive and loads of boring stuff video go and check them ones out anyway but for now let me just get right into this and show you this doing something really freaky so what we're looking at right now is the timeline for my editing software so the first thing i'm going to do is go through and show you the properties of the media that i'm using then i will show you the properties of the actual project itself so for the media clip one here as we can see 8k 24 frames per second it is also 10 bit by virtue it's also 422 as well so let me just go to the second clip here once again 8k 24 frames per second 10 bit 422 and just down to the last clip here as well just so we can see everything is all 8k 24 frames per second 10 bit 422 now as for the project itself i'll go to project saturns as we can see here the project is also 8k 24 frames per second and importantly it too is 10 bit as well so basically from the media through to the project everything is 8k 24 frames per second 10 bit 422 i'm going to say 8k it's obviously 8k uhd now what i'm going to do here is just quickly show you that i can actually play this stuff in full resolution and just have a look up here as we can see the resolution indicator here is saying full so right now this is going to play back full 10 bit 8k right at 24 frames per second check this out okay so that's one of the clips there now just quickly as well one little caveat to all this unfortunately the way i'm recording this sometimes the video looks like it may drop frames however it isn't Everything that I'm seeing here is perfectly smooth. It's just the capture process sometimes goes a bit weird and some of the video elements look like they may not be playing properly. However, if you look down here as I'm doing this, this will indicate some numbers which are the video or which is the video buffer and you will see from the video buffer it fills up. So therefore I am maintaining real time ability. So let me just go to clip four here. Keep an eye on the buffer down here and we'll see it fill up. There we go, buffer's full up there. And anything leading up to that filling up with the buffer just means that it is in real time. And as you can see there, it is all playing really smoothly. Or at least I can see it playing smoothly. Hopefully the capture is as well. But nonetheless, there we go, that clip is playing great. Now let me just go to this last clip here. and Let, let me give you a little blast of this. And once again, that's all cool. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Come on, Dave, that's all well and good. You've just simply shown us stuff playing. What's that all about? Didn't you say this is an editing software and you can edit 8K? Well, yes, YouTube, I actually can. What it is here, I've just kind of affected a very small, quick edit. So what it is, these are just some cuts from these clips. I don't know, it's about 20, 30 seconds long. I'll just play this through so you can see effectively a cut going on or an edit. Now how cool is all that? But wait, YouTube, 
there's more right what it is i'm going to just do a little quick example here of a grade now in order to do this i can't do this in 10 bit full res so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop the resolution up here for the timeline down to a half now what you have to remember here though is that because we are in 8k a half at 8k is still higher optical resolution than the actual timeline that we're looking at because we're only viewing stuff at like up to 4k but but this is going to still be exceeding the resolution that we're viewing so despite the fact that i've dropped res to half here we are definitely still going to see something that looks quite impressive i would imagine as far as resolution is concerned so here is the same little edit here and i use the edit very loosely or the term edit very loosely and in here i'm also going to loosely use the term grade as well so here's my primary color corrector i've affected something which is going to just crush things a little bit blow stuff a little bit and also re just reduce saturation and whatnot just so i can give a mono look as we can see here if i flip it off and on there we go so what i've done there i've took that particular grade in inverted air commas and then what i've done is just there uh, threw it right across there did i say commas then did i mean to say quotation marks david if you speak in english learn to use it properly okay so what i'm gonna do now is just go back here and let me put that grade on and then I'll just play through my magic grade. <laughs> Okay, so there was my magic awesome grade played through there. And as we could see, even though I had to play back at half resolution in order to maintain real time ability, we definitely just couldn't see any difference with the resolution that was actually in that preview window anyway, only because the original source resolution is such high resolution. Okay, so if you were not freaked out by that, I don't know what would freak you out. I think that this little box is absolutely mad mental anywho if you've liked the video if you found it entertaining or anything like that then please give us a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and if you go as far as to subscribing to my channel then you may as well click the bell notification icon button as if it was something really nice that you needed in your life and you positively couldn't exist without it anywho i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>